Hello, let me share you some tips uh, working with meshes. First, let's look at the yellow lines. Spine doesn't generate them. Uh, we, we do them when we create the meshes by uh, dragging and releasing the mouse. It creates the connection. So uh, with yellow lines, we can force Spine to change the topology, the way it distributes the triangles. Uh, and um, that will allow us to sometimes, for example, here to make nice bending. Uh, other uh, use is, well, it stays when we, it's selected. We can see uh, the flow of the mesh. Also, when we check the wireframe and deselect the mesh, it again stays uh, visible. Uh, let's uh, move to the moving the control vertices, how, how to move them quickly and efficiently. First of all, we have a tool. We have uh, for that, it's called Mesh Tools. When we select uh, the soft selection, it will enable one brush. Here, you, when we change the size, you can see it uh, going and you can see that farther vertex from selection, the dimmer it will be and so the value will be lower. Uh, this is because we have feather at 100%. If we reduce it, uh, the inner circle will go up to the edge at the end and the all dots will, lo will look same and will have 100% influence. The last thing is whole vertices. By default, it is enabled. If uh, we disable it, the edge of the meshes will not be affected when we use brush tool on inner vertices. So if we want this part to move, everything will go, uh, will move with this brush except the edges. This is very useful when we want to adjust the face or some kind of other parts and we don't want the outline to break. Now let's see the origin point of the vertices or one vertex. It is very useful when we, we know how to use it. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to move this point. It's good. Let's try to rotate it with rotation tool. Uh, it again starts to move and translate. Let's, let's try to scale. Well, it behaves the similar way. It's because its origin point it at the center, so it doesn't know how to do so along what point to do. When we move that center, uh, everything starts working fine. Let's let's hover on it. You may notice that uh, with translate tool selected, it doesn't show because translate doesn't have origin point. Let's uh, hit rotate and hover on the center and the white circle will appear. And that means we can drag. And now when we rotate, the point will rotate along this center. Same way with the scale. Let's move the cross and now scale it away and towards this point. Next, let's move multiple meshes simultaneously. Let's select them and rotate. They will be rotated um, along this point, which is generated calculating the bounds of the selected meshes. So if we move it, both meshes will be rotated along this point. And one, another fantastic thing is that if we select portion of the vertices from both of the meshes, they will behave similarly. This is super useful, guys. Let's try it and let me know in the comments. And the last thing, we can go even further and make a brush that with a feather 100%. And check this out. We can select one point here and rotate. And let's select from both meshes and rotate them. Check the further point from this point it will also rotate along this so the influence of this brush works perfectly in this situation another nice thing is when you need some part of the mesh to go uh, behind or in front of the it in front of itself you can just uh, play with the order in the binding the weight window 
let's let's assume we want this part to go in front of this head so we just select this mesh find the bone that is influenced and move it top if we want to change the color of the eye or the other part of the mesh that is bound to multiple bones and we don't want to uh, create a new mesh a new image and match the weighting so they don't offset from each other we can just select the mesh hit the uh, select the slot and duplicate it now uh, the new mesh uh, select the new mesh hit edit and let's uh, delete for example we want to keep an, uh, keep the eye let's uh, delete all other meshes let's select the delete button okay let's delete them Mm -hmm. Now we have the eye and the outside of the outline, the blue line, will be clipped. Uh, okay, then we, this you, you can notice that the weights remained, so it will behave exactly the same as, as the original mesh. And after now, if we want to modify some bindings, we will need to do the exact same modification for this one because it's not linked mesh, but new mesh. So let's now change its color and even blending mode. Cool. Uh, some example where you can use wireframe is when, for example, you have uh, laid your vertices along your mesh and now you want to put bones and the idea is that you want to put bones exactly where the vertices are located for example in this situation you can see that each bone is located at some vertices uh, this uh, allows uh, nice bending and this way if we want for example to make new scale new bones here we don't see where to put the bones i mean does it match this point or no so in this way you just hit wireframe and you can create your bones very nicely have you noticed that there is reset button in the property panel of the mesh well i can say that it behaves differently in setup and animation mode in setup pose i think you know that it re reverts uh, weights and deformations while in animation mode if if we modify mesh, we can reset it to uh, the position in setup pose. We can do it even one to one individual vertex. So this one, for example. And this is not re resetting to the position of the original mesh. For example, if we move the leg here and here, we if we hit reset, it will reset to the position of the uh, setup pose and not the original mesh and did you notice that uh, there are some vertices that have different colors for example this purple and this one is not or this one is gray well the ones that are selected will be blue the ones that uh, are not selected will be grayish and the ones that are modified will be purple let's make some purple That's it. Another cool thing, when selecting mesh, you can hold shift and click on the vertices. It will select the ring, the connected vertices. If, it, if there is no connection, of course, it will select the vertices itself. But if there are connection, it will go uh, along the connection until it, the connection splits or ends. So in this case, we can select the ring and control shift hold and select the other ring this is cool let's do some copy pasting assume we are going to modify a character's face but we want we don't want it to affect the eye so for that we will uh, select the eye vertices save them under number one with control one let's check yeah and now we are 
we need to copy them, control C. So the positions are copied. And uh, let's deselect them and with soft selection tool, let's do our modifications. Okay. Now we need to put back the eye. So we need to pass the positions. For that, let's disable this tool. Um, hit Control-1 and Control-V. This exactly brought back all the vertex positions. Make sure you are on the world axis. Did you know that when you smooth uh, bindings, uh, smoothness actually travels along these blue lines and those yellow ones? Another reason why you may need them. So let's add one vertex here and see it in action. Let's make it red or purple, sorry, and try to smooth it. It, it can't be smoothed because uh, there is no connection to come and give some value to it. So for now, let's, let's create some connections. Let's build some bridges. Let's do one bridge. Now, when we hit smooth, this will get transferred along this line. Next, let's check bindings. Um, have you used prune? It is very useful if you want to optimize your project. You can do so with two um, base bones and threshold. Bones uh, means that how many bones control this uh, particular vertex and threshold means um, at least how much should be the value so it gets trimmed. You can uh, test it and try it yourself. Right now it uh, removed 123 weights. Uh, it's good for performance uh, but uh, it's not good for smoothness so you need to find the balance. That's it. Uh, let me know what other part of the spine you would like me to cover. See you next time. Bye.